What's up guys? Welcome to another creepy pasta. I know it's been a very long time, but um, I'm kind of finding myself short for a recording and I want to keep some type of production up. So, we're bringing back the creepy pastas. This time we're doing the deletion screen. The deletion screen, by definition, is usually the disembodied screams of a recent victim, which can be heard as a high-pitched noise over the speakers of a computer. Many say the sources of these screams come from a photo the victim saw and deleted after a pop-up message comes up usually saying, this image, if not deleted, will cause blank on your computer. The said cause is different to each intended victim. The image usually shows a famous landmark with a fuzzy image of someone in the background. This fuzzy image is said to be the previous victim's soul imprinted on the image, and in so doing the deleting of the photo kills the previous victim. For example, if one person gets the image and then deletes it, their soul is imprinted on said image. They will stay alive as long as the image is not deleted. However, when the image appears on someone else's computer screen and they delete it, the original person will receive the image will die from the pop-ups cause for deleting the image. For example, the pop-up may say, this image, if not deleted, will cause a virus on your computer. The person who received the image before will die of a virus. As the second person deletes the image, their soul would be imprinted on the image and then they would be at risk of being killed by the next receiver of the image, and so on and so forth. This process usually lasts until five to six victims have been chosen and killed, with the last receiver of the image surviving. Usual signs of a person being killed by the deletion screen are usually their last expression being that of a forced scream.